Kingdom Recovery Center presents Victory Night Crusade. Theme, The Bone Shall Rise Again, on the 31st of December 2010 at 9 p.m. Come for your total recovery from demonic oppression, barrenness of the womb, sickness. Come for your healing and total deliverance. The anointed servant of God, Apostle Edmund, shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost. Enter into the new year with new experience. Come for your joy, your miracle and testimonies. Entertainment by a special music team. Don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878 494 903 or 07961-855-588. Hello, uh, God richly bless you. Uh, this is your moment of recovery. Uh, we are transmitting from the Kingdom Recovery Church Center. And uh, thanks be to God, today is the day of prayer. So if I'm sure you might have written your prayer request. If you viewed us last week, you were informed very clearly that uh, today is a day of prayer. And uh, if you have... Uh, Prepare your prayer request. Get ready because I'll be praying for you today. And God bless you. Uh, what we are going to have today is a very serious case. I want to introduce to you the crusade that is coming here in London. In fact, we have a clip. We're trying to see how that clip can work. You'll be very happy uh, to be part of viewing this clip and see what God will do for you out of what you get from the clip. Now, um, with me in the studio today is uh, a lady evangelist uh, whose name is uh, K. Johnson or Jared. Okay, Jared Johnson. All right. God bless you. You're welcome to the studio. God bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. Uh, today I brought you to the studio to tell the viewers who are viewing us live from around the world, uh, what the Lord did for you in one of our crusades. In the first place, uh, can you remember the title of that crusade? Um, the Holy Ghost Century Crusade. Holy Ghost Century Crusade. Yes. You know, the, the, in fact, that uh, particular uh, title treats my spirit because uh, it has to do with Holy Ghost Century Crusade. Wow. And the... Uh, you remember the venue? What's, what's the castle in, in, in what city? London. City of London. Praise the Lord. They say, and uh, in fact, you know, you have um, uh, you have come to this studio before. Yes, I have. Uh, in, and we were interviewed by Fit TV. Yes. And uh, you were able to tell the world what the Lord did for you. Yes. And uh, you, you, you still remember the name of, of, the, of, the, of that sickness or that disease that uh, troubled you? Could you still remember the yes, name? Yes, I do. Uh, what's the name? It's called systemic lupus erythematosus. Systemic lupus erythematosus? Yes. Do you know there are some people among you that are watching today, it's possible you had that problem of systemic lupus erythematosus, you call it? Huh. And, uh, it? and not only that, God cures. In fact, I've Show you last time uh, the people the Lord delivered from a, a sickle cell. Uh, there were so many of them. Uh, I show you one person as well uh, who stood in the studio and testified of how God delivered her from sickle cell. She was born a sickler. Now, the Lord does everything. The crusade we're about to uh, uh, introduce to you today is titled The Boy Shall Rise Again. In fact, the leaflet right on my hand here, titled The Voice of Recovery. The Voice of Recovery. In fact, um, the, the woman appears in, in, a, in one of the pages. I'll show that to you very quickly. Page eight. Uh, even, yeah, exactly in page one. Now, uh, God says, I'm watching over you. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lord healed this woman. She was in marriage for 11 years. Not quite 11 years though, but more than 10 years. And um, the Lord, you know, fixed bones into her womb in the crusade you're about to watch. 
Are you having a problem of having issues? The Lord can settle your issue. You don't have children, the Lord can settle it. Is your hope lost? Are you older than Sarah? I don't think so. So, God bless you as you are watching this. In fact, I still want to ask this lady evangelist, you know, her, I mean, a certain question that which will interest you. Hallelujah. In fact, when she came to the Elephant and Castle Crusade, uh, in fact, if we know that the other clip wouldn't have worked properly, we would have brought that exactly. And you see her condition before and what God did in that crusade and how she is now. She came as a dead person, the dead person from the hospital with terminal disease. And I tell you, today she's an evangelist because she continued and followed the Lord that healed her. Now, could you remember, you know, the area, you know, somebody's watching at us from, you don't know where they watch from. Let me tell you, this telecast reaches around the world, everywhere in Africa, in Europe, and so many parts of the world, both Eastern Europe, okay. Western Europe, Africa. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, uh, as they're watching, uh, because some people have kidney problem, some have liver problem, some have um, some kind of problems. Now, could you uh, specifically uh, tell them where and where that disease attacked you? Well, with me, it attacked my liver, it attacked my kidneys, where both my kidneys had holes in them and they were leaking out protein. Both your kidneys had holes? Yes. And they were leaking out protein? Yes. And what did the result as they were leaking out protein? When they were leaking out the proteins, it was a fluid buildup. So the fluid went into my legs. It went into your legs? And it went into my stomach where yeah. I looked like I was about six months pregnant. As if you were pregnant of six or maybe five, six, seven months pregnancy? Yes. But you weren't pregnant? No. You were pregnant for the devil? Yes. For disease? Fluid buildup. Fluid buildup? Yes. And it was building up in your body? Yes. Fantastic. And then... Did it attack your? Uh, what, what do you say again? How, how many of them? Thyroid. There's three. Thyroid. Thyroid gland. Gland. Liver. Liver. And kidneys. And kidneys. Wow. Wow. Uh, now, did it uh, cost anything on your weight? When? Yes. What was your weight before the problem? Um, I was about fourteen to fifteen stone. Fourteen to fifteen stone. Do you yes. hear that? Fourteen to fifteen stones. Now. Uh, the way he attacked you, what happened? Within one month, I lost five stones. And you came to what? Just under nine. <laughs> you came under nine? Yes. And hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, mm -hmm. this is exactly why Jesus Christ came into this world. To get, your, to get you on board of freedom. You see, freedom is like a vehicle the Lord had you know, released. The Lord dispatched freedom. Jesus says... If the sun shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. In fact, why Jesus came is for us to be free. Now, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, at, at the end of the day, how did your healing start? Well, it started when I went to the crusade. To the crusade? Yes. Wow. Um, because when I actually came to crusade, the doctors couldn't confirm what was wrong with me. Okay. That was the um, initial start of the appointment. Somebody's watching at you there. I'm sure that somebody's going to be healed today because I'm going to be praying for somebody. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. So it was um, initially when I went to the crusade, um, the doctors were not sure exactly what was wrong. I was just the first stages of appointments. So when I actually came to crusade, it started there, basically started there because the doctors weren't sure what was actually wrong with me. It wasn't confirmed as systemic lupus till after the crusade. Wow. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, you, you, you can hear that. Also, somebody was calling by the mobile. Uh, we want to say, we'll be listening to you. When we ask you to start calling, you start calling. Uh, so that we give you the story and you see for yourself what the Lord, not what the Lord can do. I don't want to say what the Lord can do. If the Lord created the oceans and all the animals in it, and the angels in heaven, so why can I say what God can do? Or what God has done is what I want to say. And God will do the same thing for you. And I prophesy into your life. Today, you are going to become a beneficiary of the Lord's program. Of the Lord's crusade. Jesus is a crusader. He came from heaven with crusade. 
And the crusade is going to happen here in London on the 31st, on the 31st of December. In fact, we are going to show you the clip of that crusade of the advert and then you will, uh, you know, get the information there at 49C Devonshire Road. And God richly bless you as you watch this clip of the advert. So let the advert have presents Victory Night Crusade. Fame, the bone shall rise again on the 31st of December 2010 at 9 p.m. Come for your total recovery from demonic oppression, barrenness of the womb, sickness. Come for your healing and total deliverance. The anointed servant of God, Apostle Edmund, shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost. Enter into the new year with new experience. Come for your joy, your miracle and testimonies. Entertainment by a special music team. Don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588. Hallelujah. So that advert is for the crusade. Can I tell you why we are bringing it much, much in advance? In fact, it's been on since this month. Now, I want... This is happy compliments of the season the lord want to compliment your season with joy on the 31st it begins at 9 p.m make every arrangement and be there listen we have a powerful guest speaker that is coming to this crusade number one i don't want to give you the name of any human being but i want to tell you that the holy ghost is the chief guest speaker in this crusade just be there because he knows all about you he knows what you're passing through he knows your problem he knows everything about you he knows you before you were created he knew what he created god created you so before god created he knew what he was going to create well i know that by intimidations and uh, by uh, many forms of depressions you might have torn yourself down you might have helped yourself to collapse because of the rejection the devil is bringing to you about yourself i'm not coming here to tell you about yourself because all of us we are outcast all of us were rejected only the blood of jesus christ brought us back to god but that problem in your life is a reject that thing for which we are sorrowing is a reject the Lord is going to take away the reject and not you. He will separate you from the reject. That's what God wants to do. Hallelujah. Now, I want to ask this, my guest, a question once again. And the question is this. Um, what was said to become the result of that very problem if it was not healed? They said that I would um, be on medication for the rest of my life. Yeah. And also, my daughter would have it when she gets to her teenage years. Okay. That's exactly what they said. Yes. It affects you, affects your daughter. Yeah, they said it's inherited. It's inherited. But there's no one in my family who's got that kind of illness you at see, all. I, I know. You see, don't, that's the lies of the devil. Yes. You see, when the devil wants to tell lies, he will just tell funny lies. Yes. You want to extend it, you want to make the problem genetic, so it be passing from generation to generation. The devil <laughs> is, is a liar. Devil is a, is a liar. liar. Praise God. Amen. The devil is a liar. And you see, your, your daughter will have children. You'll be very surprised. You'll see what God will do when she comes to the age of having children. She'll have all her children that God has ordained for her. Amen. You see, because you are not your daughter. Your daughter is not you. Yeah. You have a different DNA. You have a different heart, a fingerprint. Yes. Do you know that? Yes. That your fingerprint never matches with that of your no. daughter. Then tell me. So the devil is a lie. Yes. <laughs> you see, if two of your fingerprints were the same thing, hey, that means yeah. God can make a mistake. Mm. Is it? God can't make any mistake. God can't make any mistake. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So by the special grace of God, 
Um, um, are you inviting anybody to this crusade because you have experienced the blessings of God? I have invited all my work colleagues who could come. I've texted everyone to watch it. I've been evangelizing everyone because I've shown the picture of myself. I evangelized myself because I know the Lord brought me back from death. So I say that I'm a resurrected person, which I know that I am. I wish that, that your clip was in any of these uh, leaflets. It's in that, that leaflet there, page oh, 8. It's, it's here? In page 8. Page 8? Yes. You remark where it is? Yes. Praise God. Page 8. Let me see. <laughs> That's fantastic. Can you please get it? Wow! Wow! That is it. That is it. Exactly. Wow! Only you may not be able to view it from that, from that area. Otherwise, God will help you. You see, that is it. Fantastic. That is it. <laughs> I say, now I want to zoom it for you to see it very clearly. And God bless you as you watch it. That's it here. I say, and uh, there was a time we showed it. We showed it um, here uh, when I came for the one, uh, one program. I, because this miracle is a serious one. You can see it. You can see it. As you, you can see the zoom. Wow, look at it. Look at it. Is that not this? Wow, that's it. That's it. You can say fantastic. Now, I want you to get a picture of yourself, what you are in this moment that you have a problem. And then also, we are going to take another picture because the Lord will beautify you. The Lord will decorate you. The Lord will help you. Now, listen. The kingdom Jesus Christ says is at hand is the kingdom of freedom. Freedom from sin. Freedom from a, a cheat, freedom from bondage, freedom from diseases, freedom from sicknesses, freedom from every trouble. In fact, that is exactly what Jesus said. But I, I quoted the scripture for you, but orally. I, I mentioned John 8, verse 36 for you. That if the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. In fact, uh, what we are going to do right now, let me take a, let me take a call right now. Mm -hmm. uh, as I'm as I'm uh, as I'm talking now, you can put on the studio um, line that they can start calling because I already promised them that today is a day of prayer. So you can put on the studio line, so you can call that line on your screen right now, and the Lord will begin to take care of you completely. And then you cannot be the same person. Yes, you can be the same because when the Lord takes care of you, you shall be better than a vehicle that went to the mechanical workshop. Hallelujah. Now, if you want to access it, please go to the website. And uh, again, I have a book here for you. This is titled Faith Empowerment. You have seen several books. You have read several books. And let me tell you, now it is like uh, Christian or believers books are common. This is an uncommon book. This book, want to put into your hands as a, as a kind of appreciation to say thank you for your support, for your donation, for the continuation of this work of God on the air. Now, all right, let me get a call. Let me get a call. Uh, let me uh, pray for this caller. Hello, caller. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon, sir. And good afternoon. God bless you. What a, what a precious voice. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Austria, Vienna. My oh. name is Grace. All right. Can you come to London here on the 31st? You would have been, you would have been fantastic. Tell us what you want God to do for you. Sir, uh, I have a problem with my visa. I've been married for five years. Uh, they refuse to give me the visa. So I just want you to pray for me so I can have my visa, sir. Now, as we are talking, I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I prophesy into your life Amen. the rest of the days of this year. The rest of the days. Of course, you may think that December or the, uh, the year is gone. What you could not get in November, we often now you cannot get it because today is 17th. But I pray with authority in the name of Jesus and I prophesy that the rest of the days of this year shall become days of favor upon your life. And then your enemy that hated you, that hindered your progress, shall speak to you. And somebody who will lift you up shall come your way amen. and god will bless you right amen. now i decree in jesus mighty name amen. amen now god bless you for that call now begin to believe god and trust god 
Yes, um, I, like I want to say to you that this, uh, these leaflets will always post them to people. Do you know we don't charge you any money at all? We do this. We don't charge you not because we pick it from the bush. No, because people donated for it. So that's why we always, um, you know, have the, uh, pray for you and bless you when you donate uh, into the work of God. Now this is and this other one too, and and a lot of others. Well, you, you, there are some tracts you need to get. We need to send to you. Of course, some of you don't read the Bible. Please try to read your Bible. Now, uh, let me get another caller. Yes, the, the, the studio is open. Yes, caller, where are you calling from? Hello, caller. Hello, I'm calling from Italy. Yes, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to heal me. You want God to heal you? Tell us what you want God to heal you for. Yes, I'm feeling headache, so I want God to heal me. Just headache? Headache is like... I tell you, because the, because of this headache you call for, I know it's not a common headache. There are some headaches that are so dangerous. But lay your hands on your head. He kabla ma hando kiliha. I pray kilo hama. I pray that the power of God should descend upon you from heaven above and touch at your head and get you healed by the strength of Jesus. You were healed, and now you suffer that sickness no more. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And God bless you. Now you are healed. Now we expect your testimony. Now if you are in London here, don't fail to be in this program, in this crusade, on the 31st of December. Don't fail to be here. If you are in London, don't fail. Don't fail. I say don't fail. Wait, what can I say? I say there is a guest speaker. You need to meet guest speaker I've never met before. Amen. I tell you, you need to come. Hallelujah. This crusade is because of you. No matter what about the problem is, no matter about the nomination you attend, whatever worship you do, even if you worship idol, you can come up. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me get another call. God bless you. Where are you calling from, please? Hello. Hello, dear. Where are you calling from, sir? Hello. Hello. God bless you. We're hearing you. Speak. I'm calling from uh, uh, Birmingham. My name is uh, Brother Kazi. I've got a disease. I like to, if you can pray for me today. Oh yes, I'm gonna pray for you. Can you open your palms? Open your palms. Okay. Kabahani de Sakabahani yaka. Ribo Sokotai. Papa God Almighty that healed this lady of uh, systemic lupus, the damaged liver, damaged kidney, damaged thyroid, uh, thyroid like uh, gland. You heal her and deliver her from the hospital. That that oh God that did that, that got her out of the grave. Amen. I pray that you touch this man that is on the line. Amen. You know him. I prophesy over your life. Amen. You cannot be the same. Mm. You will testify to seven people Amen. that the Lord has taught you today. Amen. Today is your day. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 You got it. And God bless you. Yes. Now God bless you. You got it. You got the miracle. Yes, God bless you. Now, as I was saying, now if you have not been reading the Bible, I will want you to read the New Testament of our Lord Jesus Christ to see what Jesus Christ has done for many people. He never loved them more than yourself. Don't say Jesus Christ was in those days. That's why he's healed them. He's still today. He said, where two or three are gathered in his name. In his name. I am praying for you uh, from the name of Jesus Christ. From the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Call her. Yeah, let me know where you're calling from, please. God bless you. Hello? Yes, God bless you. Come in. I don't want to, I don't want to take you for me. I, ha I have a pain in my left hand side of my breast to my leg. I've been to the doctor several times. And they're still telling me there's nothing there that I'm having the pain. All right. Or where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm coming from London. From yes, Kansas. what we are going to do, lay on your right hand, you said? Yes. Okay, you, uh, use your left hand to lay on that place right now. This is the time of action. I can feel the power of God coming upon you. Rikoko Hosataha. Papa God Almighty, you hear people in Benin Crusade. You hear people in Lagos Crusade. You hear people in London Crusade. You hear people in Crusade in Port Harcourt. 
You hit people around the world and you are still healing. From the time you came into the world and identify yourself, you have been healing people. This woman is one of them. They didn't see any problem, but you have seen that pain. You have seen that pain. I command that pain to be shattered. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I prophesy over that hand. Let that hand become a new hand because of the touch of God. Amen. In Jesus' name, you have received the anointing. Amen. I anoint that your hand from head to the leg. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 In fact, I just want to thank God because you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. Now, but don't fail to be in this crusade. That is coming up right on the 31st of December. It is called the bones shall rise again. The Lord shall fix bones in your belly. The Lord shall fix your eyes. The Lord shall fix your heart. If you're having heart problems, you're having uh, nightmares, uh, uh, some men come to live the dream and mess up with you. The Lord will cast these things out. The snake living in people's body. Do you know? Do you have an idea that demons are living in people's bodies? Demons are living in people's bodies and they're moving about with it. That's why I prayed over that woman. The demon that is hiding in that hand had disappeared from the microscope. The doctors couldn't see it, but the Holy Ghost has seen it. You have your miracle because you asked for it in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, I show them that clip once again before I pray for them finally. You know, the crusade clip. And so that they will realize what God is doing. Yes, come on now. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm running up now. I'm running up now. Uh, with the time is not really on our side at this moment. Uh, by the special grace of God. Uh, as soon as I finish, don't stop to call. Only don't call the studio line again. Call the recovery line. The text line as well is open. And also the appointment line. But make sure that you call them. And they put what you want to put there. And then we have regard for you. We have respect for your life. We love you because God loves you. So now I'm going to summarize for you and uh, get ready now. Lay hands on the television screen while I pray. Father God Almighty, Father God, I pray that you break down the powers of the enemy. Subdue them. Amen. Subdue them. Amen. Scatter them. Amen. Them. Amen. As you heal this lady and brought her out of the hands of the devil and delivered her from the grave. So you are going to heal that person that is on that very end. Amen. Right now, as your hand has touched that screen, as a point of contact, receive your healing. Amen. Jesus makes you free. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now listen, it's a very happy time, happy season. Great compliment of the season is your freedom. See, uh, make sure that you put, cancel every appointment that you feel will disturb you. From being in this crusade, you are going to be another person on the 31st of December. 31st of December from 9 p.m. And God richly bless you. Amen and amen. All right, we'll see you here again. But in fact, I'm coming here again uh, next week at this same time in this same studio. And we transmit from the Kingdom Recovery Church Center. God bless you. Amen. And see you again. My love Kingdom family. Recovery love Center children. presents Victory Night Crusade. Fame, the bone shall rise again on the 31st of December 2010 at 9 p.m. Come for your total recovery from demonic oppression, barrenness of the womb, sickness. Come for your healing and total deliverance. The anointed servant of God, Apostle Edmund, shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost. Enter into the new year with new experience. Come for your joy, your miracle and testimonies. Entertainment by a special music team. Don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588.